A local business owner hoping to cash in on the cold weather is now in the center of controversy. Stephen Fusick started a clothing company called Ski Man. It's designed for winter sports enthusiasts. It also designs a logo that Nike says looks all too familiar. Denver 7 reporter and attorney Jessica Crawford shares more on what this logo actually looks like. Jessica? Yeah, I have them right behind me so that the viewers can compare. So with the white background, that's the Nike Jumpman logo. The back background, though, that is the logo for Ski Man. That's Stephen Fusick's business, and he's already invested money and time into it. And he says despite Nike's threats, he doesn't want to let the brand go. Every winter, you know where you can find Stephen Fusick. Since I've moved out to Colorado, I have over 900 days on the mountain. Most of those days, he's gliding down the slopes. It's the ultimate freedom sport that you can do. It's part of the reason he created his clothing brand, Ski Man LLC. Whenever I wore the Ski Man stuff out prior to that, it got a big, um, People always recognized it on the mountain and they said how cool it was. In 2020, he worked with an attorney to get this logo officially registered with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Since then, he's created an online presence and even sold merchandise. You got out but when he started receiving cease and desist letters from Nike, he could feel his business plans going downhill. I don't know how they found out about me. I know they have a team of lawyers that this is what they do is peruse the internet and look up, you know, small businesses. One letter asked him to voluntarily cancel his trademark. Another said Nike may pursue any and all available legal remedies to protect its valuable trademarks. It's what my company is based out of, so it would completely destroy my company. Was this at all in inspired by Nike? No, I just I just thought of a logo that just resembled what it is to be free on the mountain. While a trademark helps a business legally protect its brand, it doesn't protect them completely. Colorado-based trademark attorney Adrian Fisher says trademarked businesses will often take legal action against other brands if they think there's a likelihood that consumers could be confused by the similarities. The fallout can be costly for small businesses. These business owners have to rebrand and unfortunately rebrand branding is very costly and they go through the process again. When a business owner applies for a trademark, the business usually goes through a strenuous process with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office before they can officially receive a registered trademark. The government office tries to weed out businesses that could be too similar. Fusick's trademark made it all the way through the process in the year 2020, when applications at one point surged 63 percent over the previous year, caused in part by an increase in e commerce during the pandemic. The USPTO even made changes like hiring more staff to process applications like FUSIX. It was hard to uh, hard to know where an examiner was going to come down or what issues they would flag. FUSIX ultimately got the OK from the USPTO and no challenges from Nike until after the process was done. He's tried to negotiate with Nike to no avail. But he says he'll press on with a skier's spirit. I'm looking forward to this ski season. So am I ready to fight this? Yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to do what's right. And I'm ready to fight for this. And we did reach out to Nike for a statement this evening. We're waiting to hear back from them. Reporting in the studio, I'm Jessica Crawford, Denver 7.